there, Super Kids, and welcome to Super Kids, your number one source for youth fitness and wellness. My name is TJ, and I'm your own personal trainer, and in this particular nutrition segment, we're going to take things into the kitchen. That's right, boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to make a healthy snack in your own kitchen. Now, with that said, we're going to make a healthy snack called Fruit Skewers, and we've got a special guest that's going to help us make this nutritious snack. Her name is Tamar the Ooh. Star Kagan, and she owns a company called Healthy Delectable. Now, she's got a lot of great recipes on her own website, so you want to check those out at www.healthydelectable.com. Now, with that said, boys and girls, get ready, because you will be using the following items. The kitchen items you will need include a cutting board and knife. Now, be careful, boys and girls, because a knife is sharp. A few skewers. Ooh. A bowl and a plate. Yeah. And paper towels and or a hand towel for cleaning up. Hey, who turned out the lights? I can't see. Uh, oh, no. The food items included in this recipe are Greek plain yogurt, strawberries and blueberries, cantaloupe and banana, and an apple. And last but not least, the spices and extra flavoring you will need are cinnamon and huda. Oh, no. So what are we going to start with first? I would like for you to slice some of those strawberries that you see in that plate oh, yeah. right there next to you. All right. All you have to do, right. yeah, please use that knife carefully. Kids at home, if you need to have your parents help you slice the fruit, please have them supervise you. Don't use too sharp of a knife by yourselves, please. So you're gonna slice off just that green top right there, perfect, and that's all you need to do. Now why are we slicing off the green part? Why is that important? Well, the green part isn't the edible part of the strawberry, and we're gonna slice the, put the fruit through the fruit kebab, the skewer, we're just gonna easily like just slice it in and avoid that green part so you don't have to deal with it later as you're eating the kebab. Got it. Yeah. Okay. This job is easy. Yes. He's almost done. Oh, uh, one more to go. Yay, Perfect. okay, great. Now, okay. Um, the other thing we're gonna slice is bananas. We're gonna have yummy big banana pieces on this fruit skewer. So you want to peel the entire banana, boys and girls. The entire the whole banana. thing. Get rid of those. You don't want to eat a banana peel. <laughs> no. Grab and the knife. you're gonna want to cut sort of biggish pieces because they're like gonna this. go on the kebab. Oh, exactly. Right. This is so easy. So easy. And Such an fast. easy fruit to cut too. In case you are doing it with adult supervision. Yes. You always want to make sure, boys and girls, if you're using a knife, you want to have adult supervision. Always. That's right. Okay, now we're gonna also want to slice an apple, so I need my little well, worker to please put those onto the plate. Okay. Get plenty of room. Right. You never want to have hardly any room on a cutting board. Yeah. Just gently glide Oh it no. Oh no, banana down. Oh, oh no. no, banana down. Okay. I dropped two bananas. Two, bananas. two bananas? Those are precious bananas. Okay. Best bananas for the skewer. We will wash those off in the sink. Oh my goodness. That way they're clean. Germ free bananas. Yeah. All right, okay. so we got that. So, so now, now I would like for my little worker over here to please slice some apple. An apple? An Using apple? this knife? Yes, you can use the same knife. All right, so how do I cut an apple? So the easiest way to cut an apple is to first slice it in half. Okay. Just be careful of the right. core as you're slicing down. Keep your fingers away from the knife always. There okay. you go. And then we're gonna core the apple so that way no pesky seeds get stuck in our teeth. So, so you go around this area here, uh -huh. which is where the seeds are. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and cut around it very carefully. This is the part where probably parents should help out. Yeah, because this is kind of tricky. Because the knife can slip and... I'm okay. not so good at this. Do I need to take over, I think TJ? maybe you oh. do. Excuse me. So I'm holding the, the apple down just to keep it nice and stable, and I'm using the edge of the knife over here and just going to actually wear TJ. Oh yeah, she's so much better so than So helpfully mark the area, right? And I'm sort of trying to pull up the apple core, which is what I did, so down the Excellent. drain. Not the drain, but the uh, garbage disposal, of course. And then here, I'm just gonna cut out the little chunk right there, very carefully, of course. And we'll do the other side. So you hold the, the apple down and just gently Carve around where the seeds are in as close of a circle pattern as you can. And it comes right off, pops right off. And then we just gently, carefully keep the knife 
as far away from our hands as possible. There we go. Perfect. All right. Do you want to finish the rest? Or do you want yes. To finish the okay. So you know, can you can turn can... the apple over and cut it this yes. way. Yes. You always want to try and cut it on a flat surface. Okay. So, so yeah, you can, you can, you can make way? yeah, you can make three slices across or four. There you go. All right. I'll do one more. Excellent. And then just chuck those up into thirds or halves. Like yep. Yeah, there you okay. go. Perfect. This is kind of fun. Right. Okay, and then go ahead and transfer that together. to the plate. Oh, okay. you, you can do the other side first. Here, I'll do the other side first. All right. All right, so we're good to go. No more cutting. No more cutting. Put that in the so sink. Wash this off. Yeah. Wash as you go. Okay. Now, and we no longer need the knife, right? So we're done we're with the done knife. We're done with the knife. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and bring these up front. There we go. Look at that. Okay. This part of the job is really easy. So, the skewers. The skewers. You can choose whatever direction or order of fruit you want, yeah. and you're just gonna pop them on. Okay, now boys and girls, it's very sharp on one edge of these skewers, so you wanna make sure that you're very careful. You don't wanna stab yourself. That's you right. Do this, right? Yep. And then you just, just move push it in. Down. Ouch! Oh. Don't do what he did. Ow! And now we're gonna go with a banana. A banana. And an apple. Oh, an apple. And you can just go with any order you want, like you said, right? Yeah, exactly. And just line them up. Line them up. However you want. Here, you you do it too. All right. Let's do this together. I want to call it a loaf from the start. I like blueberries, so I'm gonna add a few more blueberries. Yes, there's there's so little that you can put as many as you want. On. Now, what other fruits can you use on? You can. Oh my gosh! I mean, you can use uh, raspberries, pineapple, kiwi fruit, fruit. We'll go, we'll go other kinds of melon, watermelon. I mean, the list goes on and on, kids. Whatever Perfect. fruit you like. Now, is there anything that you could use that would make this taste better? If you just like, if you want to well, have something I, to go with it. I am so glad you asked me that. We made this lovely. Let's present it. Yeah. This lovely yogurt. It's basically Love yogurt it. dip. And I added some cinnamon, which yeah. I think everybody has. And it's Greek right? yogurt, so it's a healthier yogurt. It's true, it has a lot of protein in it. And then if Lower we fat. wanted to, we could drizzle honey, but we don't have to. It's mm -hmm. just as good without. And then you just dip it in. Yeah, let's dip these. Oh. Oh, you lost I one. Lost a very Stab it back. There you go. You eat them. Oh, that is really good. Right? Mm. So good. No. Boys and girls, you want to make sure that when you stick these things in your mouth, you don't stab yourself in the mouth. Be very careful to eat these. Ow! Yeah. You could pull it off with your fingers. Uh, maybe we need to get him some ice. Excuse us a second. Wow. Okay, boys and girls, that concludes this particular nutrition segment on fruit skewers. For more nutrition information, simply stay on our website, superkids.com, and click on the nutrition tab where you'll see we've got lots more videos. Okay, boys and girls, I have a question. What do spiders always do on computers? Well, they make websites. I'm TJ, I'm TJ, and I'm Until next time, go to that.